Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today it's time to look at a little dinosaur. Today we are taking a look at Transformers Legacy Evolution Dinobot Slug. Just want to give a huge shout out to the folks doing the artwork. It looks great. Great robot mode looking. Lots of nice art on the side. The back is the usual legal jargon. All right, let's open them up and take a look. Out of the packaging, Slug is a cute little dinosaur robot guy who really needs more paint. We have this red going on in the chest. We've got some gold toes. We've got a well-painted head. But other than that and his fists, it's pretty much just gray all around or shades of gray wherever he goes. And the lack of an Autobot symbol on his open mouth chest is really kind of disconcerting. I, I don't like that. Otherwise... Yeah, it's, it's a fine little core class figure. Posability is actually pretty good, except for the arms. Head can look up and down a little bit, side to side. That's good. Torso swivel. Oh, it's just super tight, though, with, you know, not flailing out the dinosaur little things. Arms are single hinge and ratchets. Yep, single hinge and a ratchet. And that ratchet on both arms is rather tight. It's not bad. As I said, torso swivel, nice and tight. Ball joint in the leg, ball joint in the knee. No thigh swivel, but l lower leg swivel and no toe articulation. The figure comes with this little claw that pegs right into his hand, like so. I guess it's supposed to be a claw gun. It's kind of dumb. But I didn't realize this before. Turn that claw around and you've got a Volcanicus head. Hello, nurse. Slug's transformation is exactly how you think it's going to go. Except a couple of little tiny differences. So we'll close up the mouth first. Okay, cool. Come to the back wings. Fold them up and they'll snap together. For the arms... Actually rotate them around so they're pointing to the back of the figure and then ratchet them down. That's really neat. I, I wasn't expecting that. And then the legs are going to do what the legs are going to do. You know what the legs are going to do if you've seen a Dinobot before. The only issue I have is getting them combined together. When you get them combined together, they don't want to stay together. But that's where this comes in. So that push them together and the peg will form and then you just shove that up his butt and yeah there we go the only other animal transformers in the core class size are rat trap and vertebrake no i didn't ever buy the neon green vertebrake and it kind of scales in between both of them but i think a better comparison is soundwave in boombox mode you can see that soundwave is smaller in boombox mode but it's not that much smaller and for those of you wondering, yes, you can open the mouth quite a bit. It's just, you know, he's going to be staring back at you if you do that. I am rather fond of this little guy. I think he is adorables. Now, let's quickly transform him back into robot mode because there's one more party favor that we need to talk about. And that is the combined mode. He doesn't combine with anybody right now because there's nobody else out. But Slug is on its, well, not on its way. It'll be out in, I think, March? Anyway, all right, so we start off at robot mode. What we'll do is fold up the mouth, make sure the wings are open, make sure the legs are combined, and then fold them up like this. Get that slid up there. Make sure the dino legs are folded up. Then the arms will transform them back, and there are these tiny little pegs coming off the outside of them. And they will peg into these little peg holes just by the belly of the figure. And just get those pegged in. And then grab us a head, unpeg it, and put that head right there, like so. No idea what to do with this yet, but I have a sneaky suspicion since it's got two pegs here and here. I have a feeling this is going to hold sludge and slug together in some capacity. Or maybe not. But there's the upper torso of Volcanicus. Yeah, I'm... It's going to be cool because we're going to have six. Not five, but six. So we know slug is going down here. Where's Grimlock, Snarl, Swoop, and I'm assuming Slash or maybe Sledge? Ooh, maybe they have paddles this time. Who knows? 
And for those of you wondering what the giant cavity in his chest is, that's where Sludge's head goes. I gotta say, I'm rather impressed with this little dude. I like it a lot, and I am stoked for the rest of them. And I'm really, really, really hoping that Hasbro gives us like a Generation Selects collector set of Monstructor instead of the Dinobots. That would be nice. I would like that very much. All right, folks, that's it for my video review today. The only thing negative I have to say about this figure, hips are a little loose, I can fix it. Let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you all next time.